Hello and welcome to this session. Today we are going to learn about API validations in Catalon Studio. So we will learn how to validate response, how to get value from nodes, how to create a complete API validation test with the help of Catalon Studio. So here if I go to my Catalon Studio and if I go to the project that we have been creating in the earlier sessions, here I have added some APIs and uh, let me go to this REST API that we added. So here you can see whenever you create your API, you see this verification tab. Here you can add a lot of snippets in Groovy language that will verify when you run your request. So for example, I have already added these in the earlier sessions. If I can show you here, we are here we are verifying the response status code is 200 then we are also verifying a property value so we are verifying that at this particular location we should get the value charles and then if i go to show snippets you can see a lot of uh, snippets are already there that you can use and then you can also build over it so you can also add your own verifications here and then if you go to the test case so I am just going to the test case for this particular request list user test. Here you can add a lot of keywords that will verify your request and here you can go to this keyword browser. So we have the keyword browser here and here you can go to the built-in keywords and under built-in keywords you can go and expand web services keyword and here you can see under web services keyword we have all these options for element number request text utilities and if you go inside element you can see we have a lot of verification keywords here as well so we have verify element property value verify element text we have verify element count so if you click or if you hover over any one of these keywords you can get these details and then there is a information icon if you click here it will open the keyword description or the documentation on Catalon Studio website. So you can see it has opened this documentation or description for this particular keyword where you can check the usage and all the details and examples of this particular keyword. And even the names are very much explanatory. So if I select this verify element count, this is for counting the uh, instances for a particular element. And here, if I go in the input column and double click here, I have to give a response object. Now in our case we have added our response object in a variable called response and then I have to give the string or the locator. So you can see in the earlier session I ran this send request and verify this list users. This is the API rest API and we have stored the output in response and then here I can give the location. So if I go to JSON pathfinder and I go to data you can see we have three instances of data so if i select this data i should get three instances so element count for data should be three i will say data here and i will say the count is three and say okay and if i run this now let us see the output so i will run this and let us see the logs here So we have send request successful and then we have we have all the steps successful and if I go here verify element count you can see this is successful. If I change this number so I can also go to the script view and you can see this is what we are doing. If I change this number to let us say 2 and run this again this time this should fail. Let us look at the logs. And yes, you can see this has failed and the reason is expected expected element count was 2 but actual was 3. So this is how you can use these keywords and there are many other verification keywords. For example, you can see uh, the status code then we have the status code in range. So if I use this one, let me just drag this and drop this into my test here. So I will go to the manual view and then go to this keyword browser and drag and drop it here and this is here I can go to the script view and also add it from here so you can see verify response status code and range I can see what this it needs is it needs a 
response object so in our case we have stored our response object in response variable and then it needs a range in number so if I say 100 to 200 I know I'm getting the status code as 200 so this should pass if I say ok and run this again and I will go to the log viewer and here you can see all the logs coming so here you can see the verify element count has failed because we have we are checking with 2 and actually 3 that we have already seen and verify response status code is passed now also you might uh, face this that whenever there is a failure your test will stop there and if you want to change this behavior and if you want that even if there is a failure it should continue you can go to your uh, project in the main menu you can go to project and go to settings and here you will find if you go under test design and go to test case you can see the default failure handling for test step by default it is a stop on failure but you can say you can change it you can make it optional or continue on failure and say ok and also if you see here you can do a right click on every any step and uh, you can change this behavior so you can say change failure handling you can stop on failure continue on failure or make it optional so that is the reason in my case it is still running even if there is a failed test step because I have selected continue on failure and you can see this is how it will you can use all these verification points you can always go to this browser uh, keywords browser and see what you can use you can always hover over any keyword and go to the documentation and check how it is used and see the examples and then in case you want any custom uh, verification you can always create your custom keywords so you can create your custom keywords it will be shown here and then you can use it and you can always do some groovy scripting and you can go here and do some groovy scripting so this is how you can use valid validations and verifications for api in catalon studio i hope this was very useful for you thank you for watching